Okay, now that we're done with setting up this image where it's half of you and half of your alter ego, we're now going to use the um, rectangular marquee tool and we're going to make little areas and we're going to apply filters to it. So the project's going to entail where you're going to have the whole image covered with uh, a filtered layer. So to make a layer, we're going to use, like I said, the rectangular marquee tool and we're going to make various rectangles. So you want to create something that will be visually interesting and you also want to have a nice variety of different sizes. You want large rectangles, small rectangles, wide, tall, that kind of thing. So I'm going to start with one right in the middle and I'm actually going to go farther and I'll actually take up maybe like over to half of the right eye. So you make a selection, then inside that space you're going to right click and you're going to go to layer via copy. And layer via copy, you'll see that now you have a copy of this image right here. So it's on this layer that you're going to apply a filter. Now a couple things before we go to the filter gallery and apply filters is I want you to take note of these two colors that are in uh, on the bottom of your toolbar. You have your background color and you have your foreground color. So you're going to go to filter, filter gallery, and when you open up your gallery you have three parts. You have the preview part. If you go to the bottom you can zoom in and out. You have the list of the folders and inside the folder there are different filters. And then the third one is uh, sort of like the options for each of your each of your uh, filters. So for example, if I'm in plastic wrap, you have highlight strength that you can alter. You have details. So you can definitely drag these around and see what happens with each one of them. You can also change the filter right here. This is the list of all the filters in the filter gallery, but they're divided up into different folders in this area right here. But these are, these are all of the ones that you'll find over here. So, um, remember I was talking about the yellow and the, and the red over here. So there's certain filters, especially in sketch, that are dictated by these two colors right here. Many of the ones that are in sketch are influenced by those two colors because those are the two colors that are being uh, being applied here. So just keep that in mind if you want to use a different color that you want to change the foreground to the background color before you go into this filter gallery. Um, and as I said, there's different variations to each of the filters and definitely I want you to take advantage of playing around with them. Don't just uh, go with go with the first thing you see. So once you like something, you're going to say OK. And notice that now you have a new layer that has the filter applied. We're now going to pick another area. And you like, let's say that I want to do like the nose and the mouth right here. So you've got to make sure that you're in this background layer to select it. I'm going to do this by accident. Um, I'm going to go to layer one and I make my selection. So my assumption is that my selection is going to be right here. But I go to layer via copy. And if you notice what it did is it, it selected this part here, which was this part right here. So in other words, you want to make sure that you're in the background layer every time you make a new layer. So that's what you want. Now, um, I went to filter and, and you have the shift command F. What that'll do is it'll apply the last filter. So I just hit command Z to undo that. So make sure you go to filter gallery. Uh, when you do pick a different filter, or when you go to a different filter, you probably want to make sure that it's something different than what you have um, next to it. So uh, that's pretty much it. You want to go with large areas, uh, small areas. 
You also want to make sure you're kind of overlapping these, these selections because uh, the next video I'll show you how you can change some colors, but then also change the order of them, which is going to make a big difference. Okay, good luck.